Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company and our beautiful outside training area. We're here today with Fred and Grady and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is her ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The corrections and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction and the only correction that we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar. As a reminder to the puppy that whatever they're doing, we're not liking it and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now Grady's sitting nicely at Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the heel. Healing is a position and it is also an exercise. The command is Grady heel and at this point her job is to stay even with your left leg not forging ahead or lagging behind, but staying with you and staying focused. And each time that you stop your feet, she has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So I know that with all the traffic and everything that you're getting in Seattle right now, that you're gonna really enjoy having a puppy who's well-mannered on leash. Now the next command that we'll demonstrate for you is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use her name. The long sit stay is for one minute and you're gonna work up about 10 seconds a day all the way up to three minutes. Now you could almost see that coming where her body language changed, she dropped her head. I, it was inevitable that she was gonna get up. So Fred said no, pulled straight up on the training collar and she sat right back down. When Fred returns back to her, he will walk all the way around her as an additional distraction and she's not to get up until he gives her a little pat for praise and they take off healing again. And just remember, every time you return back to heel position, the dog expects to get another command. She's doing a great job of her healing. She looks up at Fred. We have construction going on next door, so she's ignoring that noise. This is your sit stay. Practice indoors as well as outdoors. Get her used to doing it with and without distraction. And what she's doing is anticipating that Fred's gonna call her, which he is. You praise her on the way in and she comes and sits and that's gonna eliminate a puppy that jumps all over you. When you call her to come, she should come like a lady and sit in front of you, not come and bowl you over. So it's gonna be important as she gets bigger to make sure that that stays intact and that you never praise her for putting her feet on you. Perfect. Perfect healing, nice automatic sits. Fred will leave her again in a sit stay and he'll demonstrate that come on command again. <laughs> she's a happy snap. Came right in and sat and she's looking up for direction. So she's got a lot of good things going on with her because she, she likes to train. You can see the tail wagging. She's not intimidated at all by the training. She looks up at her trainer, which is what you want to get. You want to get eye contact, and sometimes you just can't. Some dogs don't do it naturally, and she does. Now this time, we're going to demonstrate her down from a heel position. So with her seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground, and give the one word command to down and stay. Now your long down stay, again, is best practiced indoors because it's distraction free. The long down stay, you're gonna start out about two minutes and work all the way up to five minutes. So there is some homework involved. When Fred returns back to her, he walks all the way around her. 
Silly girl. Back to heel, and she stays laying there until he tells her what to do next. She's done a great job. I hope that we can get this housebreaking completely out of the way for you because she certainly is smart enough. As you heard down on hand signal only. Now she's a puppy, so she's very interested in what's on the ground, but when she starts to sniff, tell her no, down stay just so that she doesn't break her concentration. This time, instead of returning back to her, Fred's gonna call her. She comes right in front and sits, perfect, and gets praised for that, and then she goes back to healing. And healing is one of the most important commands. It looks so easy, but when you have a very high energy environment that you're gonna be walking her in, you want her healing to be spot on and her to stay right with you because she's strong and you can actually get hurt if she's dragging you down the street. Now this exercise, you leave her in a sit-stay, you turn to face her, and this is your down from a distance. Down? No. Now she didn't do it right away, so Fred said no. Stay. She's a crawler. Now he won't give up. What we do is we heal her out of it, get her back on track, get her back thinking. This is a harder command. There you go. Fred just shortened up the distance between himself and the dog because she was anticipating the come command. So that's what you do when she does that. It's very easy. There's no harshness. There's no yelling. All of our commands are given in a very quiet tone. She has done a beautiful job, and we've enjoyed having her here at the school. Anytime that you need help, we are here for you, and we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.